You for Eureka is 1968's The Swordsman of All Swordsmen, directed by Joseph Cooey. Uh, they recently released an eight film box set, Cinematic Vengeance by Joseph Cooey. Films that I kind of liked, but some of them weren't as great, so I was a little bit worried going into this one that it wasn't going to hit the spot. And you're kind of flung straight into this one. You get a wandering swordsman as he comes into a town, sees someone kind of picking on someone else, and then fights him. It turns out there's some kind of past history between these two characters, and for the majority of the film, it never really lets you into that. But it slowly starts to drip feed that information as we go on. And pretty soon we realise that our hero... Uh, saw his parents murdered in front of their very eyes by five men and we see our hero looking to get his vengeance tracking these people down one by one to kill them it's simple it's a simple plot something that I've seen many times and no doubt you have as well but there's a kind of fun uh, idea in that you know you, you have a shortcut into the movie you know exactly where we're going the fact that it doesn't have too much of a preamble drip feeding the information throughout it lets you just dive into fight after fight and we don't have an infallible character here which I really enjoy this is a man who can be outnumbered that can get worn down who needs someone to save him at a couple of points and bring him back to health which I really kind of liked <laughs> the movie expands and we get these characters particularly Swallow a character that comes in later on who is indeed a great fighter herself and there's a little bit of chemistry there you feel as if we are seeing this character suddenly live his life for the first time. He's been on this quest for a number of years and now he's finally having these connections, something that could almost deviate him from this path of revenge if it wasn't an overriding urge to just get to the end of that. But you can see the, the duality in him of wanting to take both paths and having to choose uh, between life and between vengeance which I really kind of liked as well when we get to the fights they're super fun they're different the bad guys are over the top uh, moustache twirling bad guys which to be honest in these kind of movies is what I like our hero uh, stands tall and the fights are always varied well shot and they're in different locations that always look really interesting as well. I was rather surprised by the Swordsman of All Swordsmen. I found it to be, on one hand, a familiar tale, but on the other hand, it offered some great action. It was well told. It gave me characters I was interested in and it has that idea of assuredness about it. You know, it's taking something familiar, putting a little bit of his own spin on it and doing it at a high level. I enjoyed the Wushu martial arts in this one. I loved the sword play and the weapons within it. I loved the little detours as we were introduced to other characters. <laughs> and even the sort of surprising ending to this one. You know, I, I've seen many of these movies and I found that this one was a little bit a little bit more refreshing on this one. It leaves on a high note. It leaves me on further adventures of this character, which I was really kind of interested in checking out. I really enjoyed The Swordsman of All Swordsmen, from its wonderful locations to sometimes being uh, on sets, from the terrific action to the bad guys to the wonderful fight on the beach at the end, you know, the, the fight with the blind man which comes at some point. It's It's got lots of action it's constantly moving it's got great characters and it's got great sense of, of of what it wants to achieve and it really kind of gets there for me i found this to be really enjoyable it's not up there with king hugh's stuff where it feels more elevated but as a martial arts movie it is solid delivering good tale good characters good fight sequences and a good time what more do you want let's dive into the extras and have a look at this one here we are in the disc for the Swordsman of All Swordsmen. 
we have the main feature, which comes with the Mandarin audio, the English audio, and a commentary by Frank Jeng and John Charles. There's also a note saying, although this film did not receive an official English language release, an English dub was produced and appeared in some VHS releases of the film. These VHS tapes are still the only known source of the English dub, and unfortunately the quality of the audible is noticeably poorer than what we would normally accept. Due to the rarity of this audio, we felt it should be included. However, we would strongly recommend choosing the Mandarin option if this is your first time viewing the film. Then we have Return of the Master. Interview with director Joseph Coy. Now, this runs for 12 minutes, 15 seconds. He goes through uh, a few different factions, talking about how he started off writing novels before moving into making films, how he started off with romance movies uh, before moving into uh, kind of action films after seeing Come Drink With Me uh, and this kind of small relationship he had with King Q. Also included in this disc is a whole other film, the mystery of chess boxing. There are art cards and a booklet included in this limited edition as well. So there we go. The Swordsman of All Swordsmen is out now. I would say yes, pick it up. It's an easy watch, easy to digest and a fun movie. And this limited edition comes with an whole other movie. The Mastery of Chess Boxing, which I will review separately because, well, I did enjoy it. I want to talk a little bit about it. And to be honest, it makes this package worth picking up in its own right. To their behalf, I would love to know your thoughts on the Swordsman of All Swordsmen, if you have seen it, so let me know in the comment box below whether you love it, hate it, fall somewhere in the middle, but I've convinced you to check it out, or if you're going to stay away, I want to know all of that kind of good stuff. As always, there is more content here, you can see more of my stuff, in the description box below are left to Patreon, membership program, and manvfilm.com, always, in which you can support me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.